this lecture, we will learn that how we can use different software to get to descriptive statistic because it is a requirement for any research paper that you present first your descriptive statistic. Now in Excel, it is very much easier just where after the data that you have in your Excel sheet, just go to data, then data analysis. And after you can see that you have a descriptive statistic option. Click OK and now. Input range. And then label in first row because we have selected these labels in our range and then your output. Range, let's say in D1 and we want some statistic and uh, if you are interested to get uh, second or third or fourth largest uh, number then you can click these option as well just click ok here you can see that uh, we have the data for uh, two variables average value then standard error median mode standard deviation sample variance apoptosis skewness range and I have already explained uh, most of these uh, discovery statistic that how we can get manually and with the help of Excel. Now, if you are interested to use uh, software uh, like uh, uh, SPSS, uh, in SPSS uh, uh, we have also this option as well. And uh, even you can uh, connect the file with SPSS. Uh, we have different options like import the file uh, that is in different format like in Excel or in other software like eViews. So, uh, uh, but easiest way is just if you have the data, copy their data. Now we have this data in Excel file. We have two variables and just go to uh, your. This screen of uh, your SPSS, just copy it. And then if you want to change variable name, uh, here is the option that you can change variable name. Anyhow, or just go to analyze. Here we have descriptive statistic and under the descriptive statistic, select this descriptive option and uh, select uh, these two variables and move to this variable window and then we have options like uh, we because in most of the cases we need just minimum value maximum value standard deviation and uh, if we want to variance range standard error means courtesy skewness so you can select this one and then just uh, click ok here is the output like uh, we have a minimum value, then maximum value of two variables, then range, then again standard error, standard deviation variance, skewness, and cortices. Now, if you want to do the same analysis, let's say in uh, eViews, here we have the descriptive file. Just move to this descriptive file in eViews. Here eView will be started automatically. And then let's say here we have the two variables because it is unstructured data and we have, a, in, uh, for example, this data. This is not panel data. Just finish and uh, click OK. Now uh, just go to quick and here in quick option we have group statistic and in group statistic, let's say we have selected common sample. And then we have two variables just uh, list these two variables, variable one and then variable two. And then click OK. Now you can see that again we have the descriptive statistic. I want to enlarge the screen. Here is the screen. Uh, variable one, variable two, mean, median, maximum, minimum, standard deviation, skewness, cortosis, and even it checks the normality as well. Uh, because here we have jar error test. I will explain this test uh, in detail uh, in Excel as well as in uh, uh, SPSS. Uh, sorry, in uh, Excel uh, or in uh, Python. Uh, now, uh, if you want to do your analysis in Python, uh, 
the Python is very uh, simple, uh, simple one. Uh, for that purpose, you just uh, uh, download Anaconda because we we can use different uh, platform. Now here we are using Anaconda platform, and after installing, you will get Jupyter Notebook. And uh, in Anaconda uh, platform, uh, just uh, click Jupyter. Here I have uh, this Jupyter option. Now, after getting uh, this uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, just go to here New. And here select New Python file. I will explain uh, uh, Pandas and different Python uh, library in detail. Uh, just add some lines here. Now, first of all, uh, check the directory by cd command and uh, just execute it with the help of control and turkey and now you should have uh, let's say we have the data uh, in csv file and it should be uh, your uh, desired uh, in your directory like here this is showing this directory so uh, we should have uh, this uh, descriptive file uh, that is the csv file uh, that i have shown uh, while doing analysis in eviews, it should be now uh, Dr. Khalid Suhail folder. Now, uh, if uh, we want to use analysis by using pandas, uh, so first we should import. Uh, here is a command import pandas as pd. Now, after doing, then you can read the file. Here uh, you can read uh, the different file. Let's say uh, we are using data frame with name DF and uh, we are interested uh, to read the file. Let's say it is a PD dot. Here you can press stop tab. So here we have the option of read CSVs. You can read Excel file and other file as well. And then in course you can because we are already uh, copied this file in uh, data harassville folder just uh, write the file name that was descriptive dot csv control enter now you can see that uh, df frame by just writing df here is the uh, df value of all those variables, uh, those variables, the values are here. And now, if you want to describe the data, it's very simple. df dot descriptive, and you can see that uh, here we have the result. Uh, I am enlar enlarging the screen. No, we have count then mean standard deviation minimum it is first quartile 50 percent is basically medium and this is third quartile and then maximum so i have explained uh, the descriptive statistic uh, in four uh, different software thank you very much for watching this video